Hey everybody, it's some random dude the fourth, and you're probably wondering, hey, why am I still here in Ein's room? Well, that's a good question. While I was off screen and walking toward this way, we got an email. So, I have not read the email. So, let's see what the email says. See? Have not read it. Dear Thomas, this is Egan of Agate Village. I just wanted to let you know this is my first electronic mail. I'm not familiar with high-tech things, so I've only learned how to type in words. Incidentally, if you are over in... And that's what it says. Now, oh, Grandpa, the email is out off before he finally gets to his point. What should we do, Thomas? Should we go back to Agate Village, or should we keep going? Well, that's kind of what today's episode's going to be about, because we're going to take a detour. Okay. I've run out of Pokeballs, as you may have noticed in the last episode. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a way to make money. But how am I going to make money, you ask? The answer is simple. Coliseums. Coliseums are the best way to make money. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys to a Coliseum that we haven't been to yet. And that Coliseum is going to be uh, the Fennec City Coliseum. So we'll go there, and we're going to do that. But first, before we do that, we're going to go to a gate village to see what Egan has want. To see what Egan wants out of us. So, I'm going to meet you guys in a gate village. So, I will see you guys when I get there. Hey everybody, and we are in a gate village. So, now that we're in a gate village, we should go to Egan's house and not fail to go upstairs, or hill, and see what he wants. To the tree house. Get it? Tree house? Never mind. Okay. Uh, let's see what he wants. Hello there, Egan. Ah, oh, Tom, Yuki, and Thomas, the terrorist. It's good to see you back. I sent you an email. I'm quite proud of myself for that. We got it, but it was out before we got anything worthwhile, Grandpa. Oh, is that so? That's odd. Well, since you're here, it would be just as well for me to tell you in person. Ho ho ho. I have a little something I'd like Thomas to have. Please take this. It's a Master Ball. Dun da da da. And now, Thomas, Yuki, it's time for you to go. Bring down the criminal syndicate threatening world peace. We shall do so. So yes, remember to go to Egan. He has the Master Ball. You will want that. Alright, so now, after we obtain the Master Ball from Egan, I'll meet you guys at the Phoenix City Stadium with editing magic. And now, we have appeared in the Phoenix City Stadium. Or Coliseum, I mean. Now, there's a change in my Pokemon. I, just, I got rid of Inse, so that way I could bring out Espeon, who I'm going to move up front. Okay. Reason being is because you cannot use Shadow Pokemon in the Fennec City Coliseum. So, let's talk to you. Hello, welcome to Fennec Stadium. Oh, it is called Fennec Stadium. Would you like to enter a knockout challenge? Yes, I will. Okay, so you'll participate with the Pokemon you have in your party. Yes, I will. Okay, please enter the stadium through the doors on the right or left side. I hope you give it your best effort and go for victory. Just because I'm right-handed, to the right. Alright, Phoenix Stadium, Battle 1. I'm surprised they call it a stadium, not like a coliseum like all the other ones, but hey, whatever. There's also a TM I'm wanting here as well. I love this knockout challenge, it really pumps me up. And Rich Boy Flitz would like to battle. And Mr. Flitz sends out an Azuru. And a Sentrant. This is an awesome place to make money because the Pokemon are weaker here. And I should have thought about doing this earlier, but I didn't. But oh well. Alright, so, Hitmontop lowers the attack of both Sentrant and Azuril. Hitmontop is going to use Triple Kick on Sentrant, and Espeon is going to use Psybeam on Sentrant, or Azuril. There we go. And we barely gain any experience for it. And triple kick, here we go. Kaboom. Kaboom. 
Let's do that, send her down. Wow, that was fast. Okay, and we beat Splits. I I got knocked out. Indeed you did. Next victim. Phoenix Stadium. Battle 2. Let's see what we find. Bum bum bum. Oh. Nah, I didn't do it right. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, and we have a roller skater boy, which is probably shouldn't be doing that in the stadium. Huh? I've never seen you around here before, big guy. But so what? Let's battle. And roller boy Greb would like to battle with awesome music. But you always agree to battles with awesome music. And we have a tinsel cool. And a doo doo and a do duo. As for us, we have our Hitmontop. And our Espeon. Clear body prevents Hitmontop's effects, and Doduo is lowered by attack. Okay. Hitmontop's gonna shoot a kick on Doduo, and Espeon's gonna use Side Beam on Tsutsukul. So, here we go. That's super effective, and it's dead. More experience. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's all weird today. And I'm gonna use triple kick. One, two, three, and you're dead. Okay. So, everybody gains experience from that. Hip, or not hit my top. Espeon grows the level. And we won the battle. Hooray! And Greb has been defeated. Wah! Guy lost. It sounded like Warrior there. It was like, Wah! Okay. Semi final battle at the Phoenix Stadium. It must be my turn. I'm going to try hard. Well, you can try as hard as you want, but chances are I'm probably going to beat you. And Athlete Adele would like to battle. And she sends out a Psyduck. And a Pineco. Okay, we got him on top. And an Espeon. With awesome music. Alright, Hitmontop is going to use... Uh... Oh, uh, why not? Let's use Triple Kick. And Espeon is going to use Side Beam. And do more damage. Kaboom. And Pineco has died. And Hitmontop uses Triple Kick. Once, twice, three times, and it's not dead. Psyduck uses confusion. I don't know what's sad, the fact that I didn't kill it, or the fact that that's the first time the enemy has actually done damage to us. Anyway, we're using triple kick again, and a confusion, just for the heck of it. Except for the fact I'm confused, and I hit myself in confusion. Okay, well, Hitmontop's triple kick will miss. Okay. This is what happens when you become cocky. Things will mess up on you. Okay, so we're going to use Psybeam. And... Miss, and hit myself. Oh, I'm stupid. And, triple kick. Once. We'll kill you. Very well then. And Adele has been defeated. I'll have to try harder next time. Indeed you shall. And now... The final battle at Phoenix Stadium. Da 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 da... See, I did it right that time. Oh, are you tense? If I am, so what? Cool trainer, Rune. Rune? Is that how you pronounce that? Rune? 
We like to battle. Okay, he sends out a Mudcap. And a Zubat. So, I hear you like Mudcaps. Anyway, I'm gonna send out a Hitmontop. And an Espeon. And, because I'm bored of using the same Pokémon over and over again, I'm gonna switch one of them out. But which one shall I switch out? That will be Hitmontop. Hitmontop's gonna be switched out for Meganium. Espeon, however, will use Psybeam on Zubat. Go Meganium! Espeon uses Psybeam on Zubat. Kaboom! It is dead. More experience points. And now he sends out a Cacnea. Very well. Mudcap uses Soif. I'm going Joycey again by using Soif. And it doesn't do very much to him. And it does not very do very much to Espeon either. Okay. So, Meganium is going to use Razor Leaf. And Espeon is going to switch out. Because I want to give some of my other Pokemon a chance to have one. And I'm going to try and make this last. Although I probably shouldn't be doing that because now it's... Well, no, I did edit some, so... Shouldn't be more than 15 minutes, I don't think, anyway. Okay, Razor Leaf hits Mudkip and hits Cacnea at the same time. And Mudkip uses Surf, which has both of our Pokémon at the same time. Okay, Pin Missile. Ouch. Oh, hit two times. Alright, so Meganium is going to use Razor Leaf again. Altaria is going to use Fly. On Cacnea. Hachacha. Mudkip is dead. So I hear I killed Mudkips. And Cacnea avoided the attack. Everybody gains experience. And Altaria took to the skies. Cacnea uses Pen Missile again, but it missed. And Meganium is getting used Body Slam. So I'm using Body Slam. And... It's not dead. That's kind of surprising. I thought it died. But it paralyzed it. And Fly is going to kill it. Kaboom. And thus is the end of that. Terry, I gained some experience. And thus is the end of this Coliseum Challenge. Rune has been defeated. Oh, you are only pretending to be tense. I was tense. I was not aware of this. Congratulations, you're the champions. We are the cha- Okay. Your battles were fantastic. The, vic the victory means you won the... 5,912 cash prize. I thought you got more than that. Okay, and as a result... You get TM18, or is that 19? That's 18, okay. And, but what is TM18? Let's find out. That is, other direction, Rain Dance. Go swore it was Solar Beam, but okay, Rain Dance works too. Uh, okay, might have to teach that to one of my Pokemon. But as for now, I'm going to say see you guys later. It's kind of about 15 minutes, perhaps, or 17 minutes on my end anyway. And, as for me, I'm just gonna say, have fun, see you guys later, God bless, this is Summer Random Dude the 4th, and let's play Pokemon Coliseum. See you later.